Okay. And we should be live. So, hello, hello. Welcome, everybody, to another live stream. <laughs> Today we have a special Hi. guest here hello. from Japan, uh, Takashi Arai, who is the um, product manager. Okay, thank you, Rintaro san. Uh, uh, my name is Arai. I'm the product manager of uh, the GL3 in Rico, Japan. And uh, yeah, I live in a, a city called Yokohama, where it's uh, located just around uh, 20 kilometers away from the central Tokyo. Uh, it's 10 o'clock uh, or 10 o'clock in the evening here. And uh, yeah, I'm currently working on the product planning of the newly launched the GL3 Street Edition. And uh, yeah, actually, I myself am uh, also a street photography lover, although I'm not a good one like Lintaro. Uh, I also love to meet and talk and hang around, even drink together with the people who belong to the street photography and its communities. And uh, uh, I'm pleased to be here with Nintendo-san today. Yeah. Yeah, I started to share some of your photos. And uh, meanwhile, I mm -hmm. I checked the chat and people are saying there was no audio coming from me. And uh, I'm Ooh. very sorry about that. This is a little bug that sometimes happens. Uh, it should be good mm -hmm. by now. Uh, let me quickly um, repeat what I said in the beginning. So I was, uh, first of all, welcoming everyone to the stream. Uh, sorry for the mm -hmm. technical difficulties. So um, the topic of today's stream is to introduce Takashi Arai, who is the product manager of Rico GR3 in Japan. And uh, we will talk a little bit about the GR3 Street Edition, um, the idea behind it, and uh, we will go more into detail. And uh, seems like people can hear me. I hope so. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we, <laughs> we will so also too. talk a little bit about st the street, photo street photography community and we uh, want to announce uh, future streams at the end of, of the stream. So can you guys mm -hmm. give me a quick uh, OK or some... Uh, can you let me know if the sound is working? Uh, it should be good because I, I saw on my OBS it's not, it wasn't working. I think we can continue. Okay. Um, okay. So I'm going to show some of your photos. Maybe you can um, give us a little bit of history when you uh maybe when you started working for rico or um i know that you uh became a product manager fairly recently right i mean you said probably yeah. two years ago so yeah. maybe we can explain a bit but about how it's how it came to be why why you are now that you're product manager for example uh, i i mean mm. i i, I I belong to the, the product, so-called product planning division in uh, Rico photo division or whatever the name name sometimes changes from from time from time to time. And I also have the experience to 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 product plan to do the product planning for the DSLR cameras, uh, Pentax branded cameras. And uh, yes, that was uh, about. Uh, two and a half or almost three years ago that I was uh, nominated to be a product uh, planning, uh, uh, let's say product manager for the GL3. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, during that period, I had um, a lot of experiences to, to also get involved in the photo, uh, street photography uh, events or street photography communities. And uh, that experience inspired me a lot. And uh, yes, what should I say? I, I, yeah, I love to, I, I, and 
Yeah, I love to do also the street mm. photography myself, and uh, I think that that uh, the streaming video is uh, also uh, 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 showing the image which I took by myself. Can, yeah. can I ask you when when did your interest for street photography start? Ooh, is, is that connected to the GR maybe? Yeah, of <laughs> course. I uh, uh, <laughs> I did have uh, uh, analog GR build. Uh, GR1 or GR1V. So uh, from that mm. time, I am uh, using my camera for the street photo. Mm. Yeah, of course. But uh, at that time, so, uh, the enthusiasm toward the street photography is not that much. Mm. But, uh, so that means, yeah, actually, when I started to the product planning for the GR3, yeah, from that time on, I am um, very much, or well, my interest toward the street photography become a lot more than it used to be. Mm. Yeah. I think this is a good um, opportunity now to talk a little bit about your um, research into the street photography community. Maybe I, I mean, you mentioned at the beginning that you attending lots of events and exhibitions and uh, meetups in the community. Um, yeah. Yeah, because we met uh, all over the place in Japan and in New York. We we also met. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we so did. you are all, all, everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yes. So, so especially after the launching time, after launching the GL3 in uh, that was March uh, last year, hmm. nine, 20, uh, 2019, uh, I have had many opportunities to meet uh, uh, street photographers in many countries. Yeah, I visited Hamburg to meet you or to, to join the event, the yeah. old uh, uh, GL Festival, uh, Paris, and uh, yeah, New York to meet uh, Matthias. And you, of course, uh, or uh, some Asian countries, including China, Shanghai, or uh, Hanoi in Vietnam, and uh, of course in Tokyo. And uh, yeah, I was quite inspired by their enthusiasm and uh, especially the way that uh, they take the photo, uh, sometimes a bit aggressively approach to the subject mm -hmm. and capture the decisive moment. And also, interesting thing that uh, the many of street photographer, according to my experience, have uh, I feel that they are open-minded. They are international-minded, and yeah, like like you, you have a German and a Japanese background, so so inter international. Uh, Yuri San, your friend, mm. your best friend, Shout out to yeah. Ulysses. or okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Ulysses. yeah, or. Matthias, whom we met in New York. Mm. Uh, who else? I I know, I know many known Japanese uh, uh, amateur street photography lives in Tokyo, mm. and uh, I found it is very much comfortable to be in that international atmosphere. Uh, yeah, that's why, yeah, I'm now very much uh, interested or very much enthusiastic about the street photography. Mm. Yeah. Did you uh, exp like what did, did anything surprise you about the community or I mean you already you were already saying that uh, the foreign street photographers are a little bit more aggressive or bold but <laughs> any other yeah there are types of t <laughs> types of the street yeah. photography some are aggressive and mm. some are you know uh, a bit uh, uh, discreet. So there are types of photographers in, in even in mm. Tokyo. But uh, again, there are a lot of people in in, uh, in, in this photography uh, street photography community. And uh, again, they uh, they are so international, which I feel mm. uh, uh, compared to uh, other kind of uh, photography communities. Do you think that also has to do with uh, street photography being um, a specific genre in the world and in Japan, you call it just snap photography, right? It's part of snapshot photography, yeah, yeah. I think. Yes. And the GR yeah. is, uh, wasn't the GR first a snapshot camera, right? The concept was <laughs> light and, and taking uh, snaps. 
Mm. Yeah, the, 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 yes, the, and the concept, uh, the basic concept of the GR is yes, always uh, the, uh, we call it an uh, ultimate snap shooter, which mm. doesn't change from the from the very beginning. But uh, let's say the on GR three, uh, which is very much compact and quick and discreet enough to capture uh, the instantaneous candid shots, which uh, this this uh, uh, technical uh, improvement is very much uh, well, very big advantage mm -hmm. if we, we compare it with uh, past GR models. And I think which those advantage or those features are great for the, especially for the street photographies. Yeah, and mm -hmm. that's why I started to think think about to uh, 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 to add the, the model which is featured to especially for the street photography mm. and that is the beginning of the, the planning of the uh, GL3 street edition yeah good good topic that we can get into right now <laughs> so Thank you very much. Um, before you uh, explain a little bit because I am also curious about um, the the background of uh, how it how you actually decided to do this special edition and uh, i want to mm -hmm. show everyone um, for people who don't know this there's this uh, website called grblog.jp mm -hmm. but it's also in english mm -hmm. um, okay. and i'm showing it here on the screen right now uh, yes. which is uh, run by rico japan right yeah yes and here you find many uh, blog articles uh, events and uh, also the grists or the ambassadors um, mm -hmm. which uh, we can talk about it later. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm going to share here uh, two articles uh, Arai wrote about the GR3 Street mm -hmm. Edition and uh, mm -hmm. you can read in more detail uh, about mm -hmm. the GR3 Street Edition. I'm sure mm -hmm. we will put links in the description as well. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. while I'm showing the article, maybe you can um, give us a little bit of a background story because some people, I think, oh. confuse street edition with street photography camera made for the perfect street photography camera, right? Because uh, ideally it would be <laughs> just black, but we already have black. And mm -hmm. so I think people confuse a special edition with something else because it is uh, inspired you, by yes. not the street camera, yeah, right? Good question. Camera, right? well, <laughs> good question. <laughs> so the street edition of GR3 mm -hmm. is... Uh, I would say it's not really dedicated for the street photography. Uh, the, I mean, the GL camera, all the GL camera, well, especially the GL3, black standard version, is also very good enough for the street, street photography, I think. Mm. But uh, this time, the, the design of the GL3 <laughs> street edition, it's uh, 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 inspired from the street. Yeah, because That's why we call it the street edition. I mean, the design or the color of the the the, the body is uh, uh, comes comes from the, the the color of asphalt, yeah. which is gray, and uh, the color of the ring, who the which is the yellow the orange. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the color of the ring or yellow orange, or the color of those uh, uh, accent color. Mm -hmm. On the body is comes from the let's say the sign on the, the street, which is uh, uh, very much uh, well, which makes a bit very much good contrast between the yeah. the, the, the base color of asphalt. And uh, I think uh, you have already shown my some of my image, which mm. I couldn't see from the, my screen. But uh, there are lots of paintings or uh, yeah, the sign boards or Sometimes you can find it at uh, construction mm -hmm. uh, spot. Construction yeah, you have this photo that, uh, here from a yellow uh, car. Yeah, that's right. Which yes, that's right. Yeah, and you also have the yellow uh, taxis in yeah. New York, for example. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that that color is everywhere, especially mm. for the, the the city, which is uh, uh, very much you know changing in dynamic speed. You can see a lot of that uh, that color. And uh, again, I, I, I visited a lot of uh, uh, cities, which is very good for street photography. Mm. Also has uh, that colors on every street, 
and uh, that's why uh, I decided. Actually, we talk with the designer very much, and uh, I uh, started to pick up that uh, yellow orange color mm. to to feature on that uh, this specific street edition model. But again, uh, yeah, talking about the ring, yes, the the the, the street edition comes with this uh, yellow orange ring and this black ring yeah. as well two rings in in one uh, package so you can change as you like if you want to more discreet way then i would recommend you to use with the black ring so worry about it. it's it's your choice it's your mm -hmm. choice yes so so you, you chose the street edition because of mm -hmm. street photography and mm -hmm. it's it's part of acknowledging the community right uh yeah mm -hmm. you can say that uh, yes yes and um so and also the firmware feature yeah uh, I mean, that's mm -hmm. exactly which, good, good point <laughs> <laughs> okay which you of already mentioned on there you are uh reviewing or unboxing oh, yeah. uh video on your on your on your own youtube channel and uh I think that is very good for, especially for the candid street uh, shots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are talking about the um, full press snap mode by uh, Touch LCD. Yes. yes. And uh, I'm sure most people are aware what the snap mode is. Um, mm -hmm. And you have a very good detailed explanation here on the blog article. And, yes. Um, can is. Um, do you have any info of uh, future firmware updates uh, for the regular GR? GR3, I mean? Oh. <laughs> uh, yes, we will. We will do the uh, same. What we will release the same firmware which is installed on the uh, uh, GR3 Street Edition. That, that means uh, the LCD, what well, was the full press uh, snap feature by touching LCD will be also available by using uh, by that uh, uh, new firmware. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, our, our, our guys in the technical department is uh, uh, making uh, the last minute effort to make it possible to, to, to release uh, it uh, within very soon. I think within, uh, I don't, oh, I don't know, I, I, should I say that? <laughs> within three or four weeks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that 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 firmware will be available. Okay. To, we we to can be wait downloaded. a little longer. <laughs> please, please, <laughs> please be, uh, please wait with patience. Yes, we are, we are, I'm I'm just glad that it will come to the regular GR, yeah. so I'm happy. Yes, <laughs> um, I'm sure. I'm sure that will come. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how is the GR3 Street Edition uh, perceived by the community so far? The pre-order is still. Um, still going, right? It's not available yet. It's still on pre-order. It's yeah. still on pre-order. The, the product will be uh, available on the stores from the 17th July on. Mm -hmm. So today is the 10th yeah. of July. So we have still one Next week, week to, yeah. to, to, to go uh, before we get that actual uh, product uh, on uh, our hands. But so uh, and uh, according to the sales people, according to the people within the sales department, the, the, the pre-order situation is quite good. And uh, I think uh, if if you want to have it uh, on the date of the launching, which is the 17th of July, I think I it's 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 clever to uh, pre-order as soon as possible. Mm. Otherwise, uh, you will miss the the the. the Exclusive package of uh, the the with the viewfinder and the strap. Yeah, and uh, yeah. There, there probably won't be a new batch of uh, special edition accessories coming after that. There will be no no mm. additional batch for the special uh, <laughs> GR three Street Edition limited special limited package. <laughs> yeah. Special limited kit, yeah. uh, which means that the camera with the, this viewfinder and the, the strap will be available within the limited quantities, which is the three thousand five hundred 
uh, all over the world. Mm. And once they are gone, then it's gone. Uh, you won't, will, will not be able to get that uh, market again uh, in every every market. Mm. Uh, but uh, as we announced at the same time, we announced the GL three three two edition special limited kit. We will also launch a GL three street edition. Mm. Let's say the standard kit, which is without the viewfinder, which which comes just a camera and the, the this link and that link. The, the camera with those two rings mm -hmm. will be available uh, later this year, mm. maybe uh, somewhere in the autumn time. Yeah, so that will so, be a, a regular option then, next to the black GR. That will mm -hmm. be a regular option. Mm -hmm. I think I, I, I say I say that, that there will, will not be a let's say limitation of the quantity, mm -hmm. at least for for an, another I don't know I don't know an, another uh, specific period of time yeah. one year or even even longer. That is uh, I think that is new for a special edition to become a regular, isn't it? Uh, the previous special editions. They they were always uh, available, or were they also limited? Because I don't remember exactly. Because I wasn't paying that much attention to the special <laughs> edition from the GR2, and Ooh. but I remember how they look like. And, uh, <laughs> but I don't. I think there were only uh, limited numbers. Am I correct? Or? You are correct. Mm. We did so-called uh, variation deal, let's say, mm. variation deal such as GL2 uh, silver model or we had the GL Digital 4 white edition mm. or I would say that every all the GL models has uh, its uh, uh, limited production package. And uh, But this time, the street edition is is a more more than just a color variation model, but that there's a specific concept behind uh, behind it, mm. which is uh, somewhat different from the the past GL models in the in the in the in the past times. Mm. And uh, yeah, I, I want this model rather a long life product than a just short time promotional deal, mm. uh, which we did uh, several times in the past. That is also nice, nice to have, especially for the let's say uh, those who collect, collect, uh, correct, collect, mm -hmm. <laughs> collect the, the the camera. Yeah. And but uh, uh, but in in this time, I want the the uh, the owners of the GLC Street Edition to use in actual uh, <laughs> photographic activities. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I, had, um, I had some messages where people asking me, should I buy the special edition kit and then to, to keep it and sell it sometime? <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Which I, of course, don't recommend. But what you're saying is you want people to actually use the camera. So that means... Yeah. Um, well, okay, it's up to the, up to the owners <laughs> of the camera, yeah. of course. But uh, uh, GL is not the mm. camera to be uh, kept in the, uh, the, 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 the cabinet. Yeah, it's too... But the camera to be, be in, waste, your, yeah. in your pocket. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that yes. means, to uh, to conclude, that means you, you will have this special limited edition kit uh, only mm. available 3,500 units with the accessories. Mm -hmm. So that mm -hmm. will still be limited. But after that... Uh, we will see just the camera as a regular option. Yeah. Yes, just a camera and the rings okay. as nice. a regular option. Yes, Thank you. I think that's good news for people who just got a GS3, like Alex on streets in the chat, <laughs> who are now <laughs> saying they, if they waited, they would probably get the GS3 Street Edition. But now is uh -huh. still time, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> um, Interesting, yeah, that, that's cool. That means yeah. that, um, yeah. yeah, you can still get the GS3. But, but again, mm. if you prefer to have the, an exclusive viewfinder and a strap, yeah. I'm sure you better to order now, mm. or you'll miss the chance to get the, this exclusive kit. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm really and sure. And they're not available about that. separate, the accessories. No, 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 not at all. Mm -hmm. No, not at all. Yeah. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, any questions from the chat regarding the street edition? I'm, I'm trying to monitor the chat. Uh, mm -hmm. So far we have some comments, but uh, I don't see uh, some specific questions, but it seems like people mm -hmm. are happy to know the GS3 street edition will be available still after the mm -hmm. uh, limited offer. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we covered uh, everything that is to cover about the GSV Street Edition. Um, Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, can, can you show the, the image which I uh, took with the, the image of uh, uh, an eagle? Eel? Eagle, eagle, not eel. Eagle. Okay, I will try to I think find that is uh, the fun or that implicates a lot which you should take the street photo now. Ah, I see. You mean this one here with the eagle yeah. in the background? It will show in the, the eagle. American eagle. Yeah. This one. This one. Yeah. This one I took. Uh, there's a there's a town called Harajuku, uh, Harajuku in uh, in Tokyo, and uh, uh, Harajuku is very much. Uh, uh, famous for its uh, pop culture, especially for teenagers, and uh, I, uh, especially I like this spot with this uh, uh, nice uh, sign mm -hmm. uh, here. And uh, I uh, visited several times to 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 take the shot like this. Mm -hmm. uh, that that eagle is about to uh, attack the the lady yeah. uh, from the back. This is a yes. good um, scene yeah. for the snap mode. <laughs> that is that is that is. I took this with uh, the snap mode, yeah. which I we uh, use using a two point five or five mi five meters, mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah. Then actually, this was taken uh, around one and a half year ago. Then can you show the image, the same image without eagle, which is uh, uh, just one. Maybe this one. One fire. One fire. Uh, next to the, the this file. Yeah, I think I have it open. Mm -hmm. You will see it. Uh, let me know if it's the right one. Yeah. Yes. Yes. This is this is the right one. I took this image just three or four weeks ago. As you can see, that eagle is gone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> Maybe. It's the same space. Maybe, oh. Yeah. Same same spot, mm. but different view. Maybe eagle is uh, uh, flying back to America. <laughs> yeah. This is a good example why you should uh, mm -hmm. always take photos because you never know when the city changes. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So that scape landscape of the city is always changing, mm. especially for the the big city like Tokyo. Yeah. So oh, oh, that means that whatever you see today mm. may not be tomorrow yeah i see you also have yeah. a photo here close up of uh, the store yeah yeah, yeah. Like you can so see the, the there's eagle. some remaining yeah. of, there's some remaining of the eagle you already have three photos you could do a story about this store <laughs> <laughs> yes interesting so uh, some remaining of Eagle, mm. uh, many of well, some mm. rebates and uh, let's say the kind of weather, withered part of the the shape, which is somehow the looks of uh, uh, the eagle. Yeah, looks cool. But anyway, the, it's gone. Mm. It's gone. So I think it's it's a nice uh, uh, example that uh, the the the. The street photography is fun, mm -hmm. and uh, also street photography. Uh, I mean, on the street photography, you uh, better go out to take the street photography now, mm -hmm. or again, uh, this kind of uh, happening will occur. Yeah. So mm. that's good yeah. advice. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah, we, yeah, this we is got just from me. Yeah. We got a few questions now regarding the street edition. Um, let me read some of them. Maybe you can answer them. Uh, one question mm -hmm. is from uh, Emmanuel. Will the price be mm -hmm. the same as the GS3, the black one, later? Or you, you don't know yet? Or <laughs> <laughs> I, mm, uh, uh, Actually, I, I, I don't know yet. Or it's uh, not determined yet, mm. I would say. Mm. But at, at least the cost 
<laughs> the production cost of the GLC Street Edition, even the uh, standard kit, mm. standard model is, uh, uh, I think, must be, uh, or I'm sure is uh, much uh, higher than the cost of the normal, mm. uh, production cost of a normal GL3 Black Edition. Yeah. Okay, so we will find out some sometime this year. Um, yes, you'll see. You'll see. Yeah, it. Alex uh, asks um, about the firmware update for the regular GR, but we already answered that. I think he wasn't on the stream yet. So there will be a firmware <laughs> update coming in maybe three or four I'm weeks. I'm sure that will come. Or, that will come. Yeah. Uh, or longer. <laughs> coming this summer. But, uh, that, that will come. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can say that again. Come, will come within this summer. Yes. Yeah. Um, Muben is saying, please try and put an in a uh, built-in filter thread on lens in future for lens protection. Fil hmm. Filter thread. Built-in uh, filter thread. Hmm. Hmm. But then it will definitely make the, the camera size a bit bigger or at, at least a thicker mm, yeah. to have the threads for the filter mm, which is not really good for the compactness mm. of the camera i so, i had a yeah. um, there are filters you can uh, stick onto the front element and i did yeah. use it but unfortunately mm -hmm. the filter was not good quality i know <laughs> <laughs> i know that story that makes uh, some uh, flare yeah the sun flares Sometimes, and yeah. contrast yes. is less yeah, um, it's contrasting. But there is uh, there's also another question. I can I think they connect to each other about uh, mm -hmm. shooting in the rain. Uh, when I know mm -hmm. it's going to rain a little bit, I I put on the oh. adapter and a filter mm -hmm. just to mm -hmm. have a little bit of a protection. But I'm not uh -huh. <laughs> seeing your expression. Uh, I'm sure you're not happy using <laughs> the GS3 <laughs> in the rain. But mm. it's it's a way to mm. protect the lens. I would say. Just in case. <laughs> but I'm always using an umbrella, anyways. Please, please, yeah. please. That is uh, the most uh, effective way to keep the water away from the, yeah. the camera. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we we talked a lot about you know the uh, weather ceiling would be, of course, for many people very nice to see, but yeah. uh, seeing yeah. this lens design is, is probably. A, big challenge to find the solution that's right. Now. that's right but yeah this could be another topic future future mm. gr suggestions maybe <laughs> yes i will keep it in mind <laughs> um cherry mustang is asking uh, why is there no pre-order option in korea do you know anything about that i think korea uh, I mm. think that camera also available in Korea. Mm. Yeah. So is is there a Rico uh, <laughs> image in Korea website maybe, or Asia or? I uh, yes, that must be. That must be available. I I don't know that the act that there is no Rico image in Korea. Mm. Uh, but the, the company or distributor of the. Uh, GL or Pentax product in Korea is very much active also about the GL uh, sales or GL promotional uh, activities. So I'm sure that the camera will also be available in Korea. Okay, that uh, means uh, it's best to connect to a, a local dealer or some uh, someone who sells Rico cameras. Yes. Um, yes, I'm, I'm really sure that, that the camera will be available. Yeah. What I would say that the, all the countries where the GL3 normal version is available will also uh, be able to uh, uh, see the GL3 Street Edition mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. Um, there's another question from Alex. Will there ever be some firmware updates uh, regarding video on the gr3 good question yeah. Yeah. i think the mm. demand is probably not not that great mm, regarding video that great mm. Mm. Uh, 
Okay, to be honest, we, we have a lot of uh, firmware update uh, requests uh, for uh, a lot of uh, specifications, a lot of mm. uh, options. And uh, to be honest, that, that the quality of the video or the, the usability of the video uh, feature is not really on the top of those lists. Mm. Uh, again, we want to have these GR as a uh, ultimate snapshooter, which means what we should to uh, to to take care is, I think that the the the, the usability of the still images. So the, the of course I, I know that there's a lot of demands for the video, but uh, uh, I. I would I say that, that, we are, that yeah, yeah. I would say that the video is not on mm. the top of the list. Yeah. Um, can I ask you because I I know that I can just you know talk to you when I, if I have some suggestions, but sometimes people want to know if if how, what what way do they have to communicate some firmware maybe bugs or or uh, suggestions for new features. How do you do oh. that? Oh, uh, tell tell it to Lintaro. <laughs> then <laughs> you you will be the, the 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 contact person to me. I know. Well, it is it is also true that uh, yeah, you you once give me a bug report. Mm. Well, you you once made a oh, bug yeah, report on, well, on your yeah. YouTube channel. Yeah. Yes, yes. And I watched that video, and uh, I uh, contacted my uh, colleagues in the technical department and fixed it uh, on the uh, on the next month. Yeah, that was that yeah. was good to see. Um, I think mm -hmm. uh, so. I know that um, that Rico is uh, monitoring what what's going on in the chat, for example. Yes. Um, review yes. videos yes. and uh, forums. So um, mm -hmm. I think. If the demand for a specific feature is high enough, you will probably mm -hmm. notice. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, yes, uh, <laughs> I will let you know. <laughs> uh, please, please, link <laughs> please. Yes. <laughs> um, there was something. Uh, yeah, there's a question about uh, does problem solved in the GS3. Um, I think we discussed it in uh, past streams uh, already. It's there's a dust uh, shake removal function yes which yes. Uh, in in theory should prevent the sensor to get uh that dusty compared as compared to gr2 and one who didn't have that feature but it's been a year now mm -hmm. since the gr3 came out and mm -hmm. i think we will now start to see how effective it will be maybe mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but uh in my experience i i found one uh, dusty spot i have to say i was surprised that i have it mm -hmm. <laughs> But it, it mm -hmm. never, like I never saw it until I took a photo of the sky because I wanted to take mm -hmm. um, a photo of a bridge, and then I was mm -hmm. I think f sixteen or so, and then I saw a little bit. <laughs> 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 but it never, uh, I never saw it in my uh, pictures, and I know from my old GR that it was uh, mm -hmm. uh, much worse in the past. I see, I see. Yeah, what should I say? So that uh, okay, that is true. That the GR3 uh, has a uh, uh, we call it a dust removal, uh, which shake the dust off by using an ultrasonic uh, vibration, and uh, I'm sure that is quite effective. But uh, again, that is a uh, the function to to take the dust off. But the, the, the dust still remains within the camera mm -hmm. body. That is another function to keep uh, to, uh, to 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 let the dust away from the camera. So, yeah, sometimes it's not uh, uh, or let's say ultrasonic uh, dust removal is not too strong enough to 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 get that uh, big uh, uh, mm -hmm. dust off. So uh, it it's uh, inevitable. Uh, for the construction of the GL3 lens to get the dust uh, out 100%, uh, let's say, in, 
probability mm-hmm. or possibility. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I think to to uh, let's let's do one more question. Um, so you were saying why is the battery life so bad? <laughs> <laughs> I can <laughs> I can start if you want because uh, I I felt the same way in the beginning. Um, mm-hmm. If you you definitely need more than one battery, I would say uh, if you use the GR mainly. Um, yeah. But using it, uh, for example, I always turn my camera off and on, so it means mm-hmm. I'm turning it off when I'm not using it. And uh, mm-hmm. I I um, uh, did a little interview on Ulysses' channel. We talked about. Uh, photo of mm-hmm. mine and I was explaining mm-hmm. I only was able to take it because the camera turns on so, so fast um, <laughs> <laughs> not to advertise that yeah but uh, so I carry three batteries and I n- only use two most of the mm-hmm. times wh- with heavy yeah. use so I think it's yeah, uh, yeah. I'm I'm used to it it's not for me it's not that bad but i know compared to some other cameras bigger cameras it's yeah yeah same to me i mm. also carry two or three batteries and uh most of the times the last one is not used so it means uh, the one is not enough but two is okay uh yeah the, the, the okay the the, the the camera uses a very much uh, powerful uh, processor, which is uh, which 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 consumes a lot of battery power, and uh, that uh, uh, processor is always on even you turn the screen off or whatever uh, uh, the camera status is whenever you, uh, I mean if it's on the live view or if it's on the playback the camera is always uh, using the battery power so the best way to keep the the battery life longer is take the camera power off whenever you are not in use Mm -hmm. of the camera so what you your practice is really really, uh great to to make the camera battery life longer Mm. so you, you 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 said you get used to do it and uh, I know that many, 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 many people do the same. Uh, uh, I'd say the uh, same, same reaction. Mm-hmm. So, unfortunately, there's no, 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 no straight uh, forward way to make the camera button life longer. Mm-hmm. So, better way is uh, to keep the camera always on and yeah, off. Yeah. The other yeah. Uh, thing is that the camera is, um, became much smaller than the GR2. It's now similar to the GI digital bodies, right? Mm. And there's yeah. also smaller camera means less um, air for for <laughs> you know what I mean for the the, the heat <laughs> yeah, I know that. and the, the stabilization system needs battery power. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And there's a bigger motor inside for the for the lens, yes, right? For the, for yeah. the faster faster startup, mm. yes. So. Buy two batteries and everything will be fine. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, um, I think we should uh, go over to um, talk a little bit about uh, GRs maybe. What does it mean? Because we are announcing two uh, streams um, with mm-hmm. uh, two GRs from Japan. And um, I think for people who are new to, to, to Rico or GR and don't yeah. really know what GRs mean. Maybe you can give it <laughs> an introduction to that, and then we can announce uh, okay. the two guests. So, okay. so what is a GRist? <laughs> uh, okay, so to to start with the GRist uh, story, let's say mm. we, we have our own website. Yeah, yeah like, like you showed you, uh, like you showed, and uh, which is called the GR official, and uh, yeah, there are several. Uh, parts such as okay blog mm-hmm. and uh, event reports so uh, photo featuring activity which is called the uh, GL snaps and uh, yeah GL is GL is a part of it and uh, once or twice a month uh, we feature a photographer 
who is actively using a GR and who share the, the passion and uh, even a love to the GR, uh, which we call a GRist. And uh, yeah, Lintaro, you are one of one of those uh, legendary GRists. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And uh, yes, uh, Thomas H. Hara and Robert, Robert Adach, both photographers, are also geologists. And uh, yes. yeah, Thomas and Robert. And those uh, gentlemen will be also on this uh, stream uh, uh, live show in, I don't know, uh, August, later uh, July or in yeah, August. Yeah, we will time, do it huh? in August. So. Yeah. We will have uh, Thomas yes. Hara on our sh uh, show, uh -huh. and uh, we will introduce uh -huh. some of the GRists in future streams. So we will probably start uh, with Thomas Hara, and okay. uh, I think Robert. Ro Robert, uh, Robert appears very very early time. He's also in the chat, I think. So welcome. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Robert. Robert, son. Hi. <laughs> so yeah. So Robert is yeah. Robert, Robert is uh, always a long-time GRist from the mm. from the GL Digital Time, I think. Mm. Yes, yeah, definitely yes. And uh, yeah, he's an, an independent professional uh, photographer, but uh, he he draws watercolor paintings. And uh, uh, he's a anyway, he's a, such a multiple talented, gifted guy. He also composes the music, mm. or he plays the piano. So, like your wife, so your your wife will like him. No, <laughs> I hope not too much. <laughs> <laughs> but Robert, it, uh, it's very very cool guy. I I I like him very much. Oh, Tom, Thomas is um, Thomas Hara is also in the chat. Thomas Hara. <laughs> okay. So they can Thomas, announce uh, themselves. H <laughs> okay, Thomas H Hara. Mm. <laughs> he works as a. Also, he he's a, a, a photographer, he professional photographer, but he also works as an instructor in uh, Rico Photo Academy, which is a kind of a photo school uh, conducted by. Mm. And uh, because of that, he knows GR, I think, more than I know. So, <laughs> yeah, you can ask him a lot of, uh, 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 yeah, you can ask anything about the GR. And, uh, yeah. He, he was born and uh, raised in Argent Argentine, Argentine. Uh, Buenos Aires is his hometown. So, you know, again, he is a street photographer with uh, international background. Hmm. Yeah, I, I've never met both of them, so I'm looking forward to, to have a chat. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure we will find mm -hmm. some interesting uh, topics to discuss. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is uh, just a little teaser, which, um, yeah, these streams will... Uh, probably be happen in August, so stay tuned for that. Mm -hmm. uh, we will find the date, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. I think we 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 are done with the topics. <laughs> Anything you you mm -hmm. want to say? Any last words? Uh, ooh, I think I have covered all the things I wanted to talk to you. So yeah, I I hope. I also hope to see those uh, uh, gentlemen on, on, on this live stream channel soon in August. And uh, oh, what else? Again, uh, the <laughs> just say stay tuned. <laughs> GL, GL, yeah, stay tuned. And GL3 Street Edition is available uh, within a week or so. So please uh, uh, stay tuned on the YouTube channel and uh, stay uh, healthy and keep uh, shooting with uh, GR. Thank you very much. Good closing words. Uh, make sure to, <laughs> to like the stream if you enjoyed it. Help our stream, uh, our channel to, to grow. Uh, let people know yes. who are GR users. Um, we we want to see more of you guys in the chat. So, thanks everyone for hanging out, and uh, yeah, we will see you in another stream very soon. So, yep. stay safe Thank you. and see you next time. Thank you. Bye Thank bye. You bye, bye. So, and now we are offline. <laughs>